Hey everyone, it's Nancy, and I'm here with a Wild Bunch video. I wanted to share with you a little project. Um, I am a participant in Jade's Secret Squirrel Swap that is done each month. This is Cigar Box Swap, and I needed to make a card for my Secret Squirrel Sister. And I thought that I would use some of these gorgeous butterflies that I made the other night with Kelly's tutorial. I absolutely love these and I'm totally addicted to making them. But I don't know how I got off the path of a card because I actually ended up making a paper bag mini album. <laughs> Um, I made this today, um, start to finish. Um, I started it about 3 o'clock or so this afternoon, and it's now 3.30 a.m., and I just finished. Um, I used the, um, the Celebrate It bags from Michaels. These, and these are in the light blue. Um, the bags, the, the color looks like this, and it's a little brighter than what I wanted. So I went in and I did a whitewash on the bags. You can see it there. And pretty good difference. So it really toned the bags down by doing that. And all the paper that I used is the Vintage Shabby by Tim Holtz. I used all the blue paper. Um, this gorgeous lace here is from Wild Orchid Crafts, and it's my favorite. I absolutely love it. Love it. Very nice quality, very soft, just really nice detail on it. And there's a piece that wraps from the, about the middle to the front, and then about from the middle to the back. And then since they didn't quite meet in the center, I used some of this Wild Orchids Craft, the eyelet lace. I love it. Reminds me of the Martha Stewart punch. And then I used one of the little Tim Holtz safety pins and some chain and just added a couple charms. There's a, a blue heart and a little key and then a little butterfly that says created for you on the back and then one of the little um, teardrop charms that I have, the little stones, and then one of these little crystals on the end. And then on the front, I used one of the ornate plates from Tim Holtz, and I cut the center out so that it fit right using my tag die. And then these little butterflies are from my friend Tanya, and it's double layered, and I colored it with Lindy Stamp Gang with the Tiffany's Blue. And then this is uh, one of the little pearls, the Wild Orchid Craft pearls. And then I used some of these, my favorite wild roses. And these wild roses, they have a really soft touch to them. Really, they feel really nice, really soft. I love them. And then this, these pieces, this is two different trims. The larger on the bottom and then the regular size on top. And I got these from S.A and a really pretty vintage looking brad in the center to hold them together and a prima pebble with the little bird the blue bird on it and then a prima e-line flourish and then some of this um spray with the crystal little tops from carla and this friend stamp is from this set that I got for my last sister. I love these vintage ladies. So on the inside, when you open it up, there's the pocket here, and I stamped it with a Tim Holtz stamp. Um, you probably can't really tell, but there's actually another Tim Holtz stamp stamped on the paper first, and then I stamped that on top of it. And that's uh, the bottom layer of stamp with the uh, Puma Stone. It's the uncolor, Tim Holtz calls it. But just three basic tags here, um, just inked around the edges. Everything was inked with the Walnut Stain Distress Ink. And then some Maya Road little trim down here. And then each pocket has 
there's two bags attached here and there's a total of four just basic photo mats inside that she can put pictures or journal or whichever just real simple I didn't stamp on them or anything like that she can do that if she wishes to go with whatever picture she puts in and you turn it and this is a pink paisley Parisian anthology chipboard piece um, the dress form I just cut the stand off I inked around the edges piece of seam binding here that I dyed um, using the Tiffany's blue from Lindy's and then a couple the other new blue color as well Hawaiian is it blue Hawaiian blue I think and I mixed them and then more Tim Holtz stamping here and then as well as on the back another page with this beautiful Wild Orchid Crafts trim love this this is another beautiful one really really nice and it's not attached here so a picture can slide into there if she needs to and then some more of the eyelet lace down here and I put some half pearls on top of it in the center more Tim Holtz stamping here and here and then on this page I took some of the six millimeter rosebuds and I made a little bouquet out of them love doing that I like the way that it looks tied it with some more of the dyed seam binding and then some more of the Myro trim that's on the first page and a couple more tags here some more Tim Holtz stamping and that's it that's the back so definitely not a card but I really hope that she likes it um, I really like the way that it turned out and the way that all the blues came together so nice um, I'll list all the item numbers that I use down below for you if you have any questions just let me know thank you for watching